Hi, and welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Limcool. Welcome. I am here today with my girlfriend's little doggy, Takeda. Say hi, Takeda. Hello. She's just hanging out here while we talk about the power of layers. This is one of those things. I just did an expo here in Portland and um, showed Unify to a lot of people. And it's one of those things that really helps get the gotcha of the power of Unify. The fact is that because of these parameters right here on each layer, any synthesizer you own, like right here's the, the Korg Kronos and there's Omnisphere in the software world where they have the ability to mix lots of patches across the keyboard to make really cool things. You can do that with any plugin you own. So I'm gonna show you, I have Massive here and I have patches. have created this is part of the massive power pack which has all these patches I want to save this patch like I talked I showed you last week about layers and layer presets so we're gonna go save this as a layer preset and I made a new folder and I put a space at the beginning so it shows up at the top of the list and this is massive and I say guru so I know it comes from one of my libraries um, and this is just an epic techno pad Okay, so you saw I have other presets that I've gone through and selected. All I have to do on this is just click and drag, and now I'm changing the low note that Massive will listen to for this sound. And if I set this, if I wanna make this even easier, I can hold down Control or Alt on my keyboard and click, and this little window pops up. I can play a key. And once I've played that key and closed this, Let's get so you can see it on the keyboard here. When I play this note, there's no sound. All I need to do now is go over here and say duplicate. And let's set it so that it goes to the bottom of the keyboard range. And let's hold down control and click again and say B, which is that note right below the C that I set for the, the top part. And as you can see, I've now made a split. And I can just double click this version of Massive, go to the browser, and I could go down here to choose a bass from these libraries. And if it's not the right octave, you can go over here. Maybe that's not the right vibe, so I could go over here to these layer presets. And I've set this up as a split, right? I just go to my favorite patches and there's a bass, solid bass. I just call that up. We set it up so that it doesn't erase these settings. These settings stay. So now I can. I can start writing. And let's say I wanted to add something to the top part. So I say, just duplicate this layer and go over here to the layer presets. And it just so happens in the favorites, I made a little pitsy that I found in the Guru library. So now I... And I wanna add something to this bass. So I just go to the bass part and I can double click over here to name these so I know what's going on. And I could say, I want this to be, this is the techno pad. And this is the pitsy synth. And so I'm going to duplicate the uh, second, the base, and let's go over here. Uh, we could surf around. So let's go to the presets for the browser, go down to the BS, which is. Then you have all these parameters in the massive power pack, so you can. It's like the third library that I made like nine years ago. And it still will kick your pants. But it lets you take, this is the idea of being one plugin is now playing four versions of itself in real time. Start writing, it's, it's that way. 
you want to hit save, you can hit save, go to the user library and call this split massive playtime and save new. Here it pops up the window where I have a couple other things that I've saved and I sit save. And now if I go to my libraries to user library, there it is. So you can make presets and save them super easily with any plugin. So that's the idea. You can use any synthesizer in your arsenal, whatever you own. Each synthesizer now can be layered and split and multiple layers of multiple splits. I've got three sounds in the left hand. So I'm playing five hive synthesizers at once. Add a little groove to it and off you go. So for songwriting, it's really nice to have all of this available to play in real time instead of having to build it one track at a time. You can interact and have your bass line and your chord part happen at the same time as you're writing. So get you into playing, get your fingers working, right? Okay, so that's the end of this Tuesday tip. Takita says, thanks for hanging out, right? No, you wanna go back on? <laughs> Thank you, we'll see you later. <laughs> Bye.